Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and we have Zach bringing us the Mag Cargo. All right, that's that's pretty hype right there. I wanted to see what Mag Cargo can do. I know it has some good tankiness to it. We also have the Hippowdon open, so ultimate physical defense tanks right there. But what's the rest of the team going to do, honestly? Like, I know Caesar, it can go for some heavy late game, but I haven't seen Helios do much. Like, I. People say Helios has potential, I can see it, but I've never seen it actually go off because it doesn't have a ridiculous amount of special attack, so sometimes it can fall short, but it is going to be that Hippowdon Mag Cargo lead against the Azumarill. So Raichu, it's going to have that fake out, going to put a lot of pressure on early. Yeah, that's Raichu, going to fake out, and it looks like it's going to hit Hippowdon. So Hippowdon not going to be able to do anything, and there's, oh, ooh, Azumarill with the belly drum. All right, that's, that's mean right there. So maxed attack instantly. Citrus Berry going to heal up the Zoomerill just a bit. Raichu, though, got it has that support. Now, now it's just about time to go off. So Mikarga, oh, no way. The prediction! The prediction! Oh, my good. Wow, the opponent the opponent guessed wrong then. Yeah, it's like, why am I going to fake out Mikargo? Maybe uh, Hippowdon has a bit more nastiness up its sleeve. That's the clear smog. The Zoomerill dropped down to half for free. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's so good. And a zoom roll going throughout the Aqua Jet onto Macargo. Is Macargo. Macargo survives as well. The absurdity of that. So, Rocky Helmet, pure defense Macargo. A zoom roll going to take a little bit of damage right there. Doesn't even knock out. Wow. Venusaur. And. Was that attract? Venusaur falling in. Oh my goodness. So, we have a female Hippowdon as well. Getting the attract off of Venusaur. Man, just true love. Girl power indeed. So, yeah, it's a male Venusaur. What can you do? So Zoomerall going to take Sandstorm and Burn Damage. Going down next turn for sure. This is crazy right here. And that is going to be Mega Venusaur. Now Attract does mean a lot right here. Attract needs to apply or else the Paladon going to take a little bit too much damage. So Zoomerall going to rush down the Aqua Jet onto Mecargo out of just, I can only imagine sheer anger. I mean, you're still ignoring the Paladon. Paladon does not want any Aqua Jet either, but out of just anger like that, taking down Mecargo with it, but that's a fair trade. I mean, the cargo clear smog and essentially one for one after that belly drum failure. And no, uh, we don't get the love of mobilization, but we do get Giga Drain. And that's going to be a lot of damage on Hippowdon. Hippowdon, not an insane special defense tank. And then it throws out the Rock Slide. So Rock Slide tech. All right, I could see Earthquake being good as well. But I mean, we, we only see an attract in Rock Slide, so it could have all sorts of things. Arcanine. Arcanine's going to be hit super by the rock side, but it is going to get that Intimidate drop, which could be sick, and then the Heliolisk comes in. So, Arcanine's Intimidate, not going to affect Heliolisk as much, and now we can see Heliolisk shine right here, throwing out the Thunderbolt onto Arcanine. Oh my goodness, Arcanine's also a male. That's a track potential, huh? And Flare Blitz, uh-oh. Flare Blitz onto Hippowdon, though. Is it going to be enough to knock out? Oh, I wouldn't see Hippowdon just survive and throw out the attract. That would be amazing. But after that recoil, Arcanine taking a huge amount of damage. Heliolisk going to eat a Giga Drain, but not for too much damage. So I imagine more of a tanky Venusaur as well. And the damage of Sandstorm. Arcanine already in the red, just like that. So this is going to be pretty crazy. Now Heliolisk and Caesar. This is this was it. Like It's going to come down to the damage follow-up from Caesar and Heliolisk. Arcanine going to get withdrawn right here. Ooh, that's free punish. So Raichu comes out, can go for that fake out. Probably trying to set up Lightning Rod. Like, okay, it's go he's going to thunder me, so use the lightning rod, soak that up onto the Raichu, and Caesar. Because that Raichu switch could get a free swords dance, but goes for the protect instead. Alright, that's fair. That is indeed fair. And Heliolisk actually has the Hyper Voice. So Heliolisk making a great play right there. Hyper Voice is enough to finish off Arcanine, because it was already dropped to red. So that, yeah, you don't need to go for that Thunderbolt anyways, and then doing some damage onto Venusaur. So, yeah, this is what I mean, like, Hyper Voice did alright damage, but it's not, like, damage to win games with. However, between hitting Venusaur and the Raichu, Raichu goes down to Bullet Punch as well, and over- Oh! Heliolisk has Sand Veil! I like this team even more! I bet Heliolisk has a Sand Veil, so Sleep Powder still going to land onto Caesar. Yeah, I like that, so that's some cool stuff right there. I mean, yeah, Venusaur is getting buffeted, but Heliolisk is just fine, so this is an interesting Sand team. And it seems to be putting in work, so yeah, that's going to be Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice going to finish off Arcanine. Ah, uh, Caesar's attack getting, like, destroyed right here, though, from that Intimidate. And, yeah, it doesn't get the wake up. That's unfortunate, but we are going to see Hyper Voice, so Hyper Voice going to knock out Arcanine. 
going to almost, ooh, critical hit. So yeah, huge damage on Venusaur with the crit, not enough to finish it off. And that is going to be Sleep Powder on Heliliska. So Caesar just needs to wake up and get that bullet punch. Heliliska needs to like wake up and get some damage. But other than that, you know, we just could see Venusaur actually go, oh, oh. I didn't know Venusaur was that low. Wow, okay. What an insane battle. The opponent, the opponent lost, and Zack won with having both Pokemon asleep. And the, this was a scrappy team. Like I was like, this ragtag team, how's he going to do it? And it worked. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm actually very impressed by this. Like the, the Sand Veil could get nasty. Like if it's Bright Powder Sand Veil just with some Hyper Voice support, that's pretty crazy. But overall, getting the shutdown, reading everything just right. Good job, Zack. That was pretty good. Special battle. So. If it's a special battle, was this for like the format where it means you can't use like the most used Pokemon maybe? I didn't pay attention to that earlier. But overall, excellent battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all get ready for some more amazing Fan Fridays.